Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defections, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth its fruits. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in the shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him but I will prosper him. I am like a burdened cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight the paths of the Lord in them and just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Our psalm response, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear, I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship an alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel would walk in my ways, I would free them with the best of wheat, and I will, and with honey from the rock I will fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my, hear my voice. voice. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and, and praise, praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Repent, says the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God, and no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. If I am not mistaken, the Presbyterian Christian community. One of its core tenets is predestination when it was originally founded. And we still have some Christian uh, communions that speak of predestination. Well, that really does inhibit one's free will if you're predestined to do things. Now, if you ever watched Star Trek, The Next Generation, there was a great episode. Now, trust me, I'm getting to Hosea with all of this. There was a great episode in which one of the crew members Worf, the Klingon, travels through a, oh, a, a, a space anomaly which causes him to fade in between different realities. And each reality is based upon a decision that was made that was different from a different reality. And people have argued, could there be opposite realities that are out there that are just different from the one that we live based upon a decision or two. That's a nice theory to, you know, debate and to imagine and play with. It's, uh, it's just that. It's a theory. Now, the, the thing was, as they eventually came to the end of the episode, that they were able to communicate and get all these different Enterprise spaceships from all the different dimensions all together to find the one that he properly belonged in and set everything right. But I thought to myself, isn't that an amazing way to look at life the way God sees it? We may look at a tree and we can see one particular branch if we focus in on that branch or one particular twig, or one particular leaf. But God is able to see the entire scheme of the tree in perfect reality. Every twig, every leaf, every branch, the stump, all the roots. He's able to see the whole thing. Now we can imagine what the roots look like, but we don't see them unless we dig up the tree. Now, all this being said, God sees the whole thing. He sees what 
all of our choices, what they could lead us, which paths we can go, like the tree. We can go this way, this way, this way, or like Lieutenant Worf, his realities can go this way, this way, this way. And when God sees humanity making choices that inevitably can lead to a very bad outcome, he tries to warn humanity. You're going on the wrong branch. If you do, you've got a bunch of different twigs. If they don't look good, repent. Go back to the main tree. Look for a different path and a different branch. That's what's happening in the first reading. In essence, Israel, which is split from Judah, it's two kingdoms, Israel in the north, Judah in the south. Israel has been led by its kings and priests to worship false gods. And it's in decline. So God sends Hosea, the prophet from the first reading, to go and prophesy to them. Return to me. Give me back your whole heart. Stop following the false gods. They're leading you astray. Look around you. Your society is in decline. Things are going down. Look at the way you treat others as an example. And he's trying desperately to get the people to repent. And in fact, God is so uh, determined, he even stresses his point through Hosea and the way Hosea lives his life. Hosea marries a prostitute named Gomer. And Hosea represents God, his wife, Gomer, represents the people. Being a prostitute, they follow everything. And the children that they inevit inevitably have, he names them very symbolic names to show that these are people who have left the right path. Their decisions are leading them further and further and further away from God. Sadly, sadly, Israel will not take heed. It won't listen. And inevitably, it will fall. You and I are presented the same choices every day. Choices that can either lead us closer to God or choices that can take us further away. And God sends people into our lives to encourage us always to make right choices. This homily in and of itself is an encouragement to go back and make right choices. We don't see the inevitable outcome. God can. Not that we're predestined to make uh, to go down that path, we always have the free will to turn and repent. And that's what God is begging us today to do as he begged Israel in the time of Hosea. Return. Return to him with your whole heart. And then he will accept everything that you offer and will bless you most bountifully. Today, let us remember not only ourselves and as we continue to turn back to God daily, sometimes hourly, let us pray for those who have gone astray, who are living life way out on the outskirts, far away from God, that they may open their heart to hear him Backing them back home to live a life in fullness of faith and a life of beatitude. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah, Lord. Pray. We pray for all those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray for those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound. We pray for the needs of our extended family who watch this Mass on video. And we pray for you and your needs that you bring here this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, hear our prayer. We pray for Gus and Laura Lind, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah, our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, by our good and good of all his holy church. Let with favor we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, 
For by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Praise be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Holy Ghost, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through this world seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels, and his saints. 